thefootballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the of the playbook, bringing you our 2012 NFL Draft Grade Special. We're looking at the Jacksonville Jaguars, so let's take a look back at their draft to see how well they did this past April. The Jaguars came into this draft wanting to add a weapon for, for Blaine Gabbard and also add some punch on that defensive line. I also like the Brian Anger pick out of California. They need a punter. They got a guy that can boom the football and that also helps out their defense. Now, what I like most about the draft, you look at Justin Blackman, the key playmaker on that Jags offense. You get a guy that can draw coverage away from the opposite wide receiver. It allows Lawrence Robinson to move down to number two and also Mike Thomas to move to number three. You also toss in a guy like Mercedes Lewis who's going to have a bounce back here. The Jags passing game is now a strength where last year it was a weakness and it also opens up more running room for Maurice Jones Drew. So you look at adding a guy like Blackman will help out three offensive spots the number two wide receiver, the number three wide receiver, and also the running game. And I also like Andre Branch out of Clemson. Tremendous burst off the edge. This guy's going to be a force on that Jaguars defensive line. Jags fans will appreciate his workmanlike effort each and every week. Now, what I didn't like about the Jags draft is the fact that they didn't draft any additional offensive line help. If you're going to lean on a running game a little bit more this season, you got to have those guards, centers, and tackles in place. So you got to have depth on that offensive line. They could have drafted another guy on that offensive line to help out with the interior running game and also the pass protection for Blaine Gabbard. I'll give you a couple of undrafted free agents that could surprise and make the Jaguars roster. I'll look at center Mike Brewster out of Ohio State. I gave this guy a high grade. Actually had him rated as my second center behind Peter Collins of Wisconsin. Brewster did a lot at Ohio State. One of the guys that was a fixture on that offensive line is the reason why they were able to run the football very effective and pass protect very well. He has a legitimate chance to make an impact on that Jags roster. I look at Keith Elliott out of Florida A&M. This guy is 6'3", 215 pounds with the burst off the line of scrimmage and a burst after the catch. He could remind some of a young Terrell Owens coming out of Tennessee Chattanooga. This guy has a legitimate shot to make an impact on that Jags roster, especially at a position where they're weaker at the receiver spot. I give the Jaguars a B for their draft. The defense is there already in place for them to be successful. It all falls on the shoulders of Blaine Gabbert in a passing game in order for J Jacksonville to take the next step. The defense is there. The running game is there. They have solid weapons on the flanks and a good tight end. If Gabbert can make the necessary steps, the Jaguars can be competitive and compete for the AFC South. I want to give a huge shout out to Jaguars.com for showing football game plan support.